Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Whoa, it looks like he hasn't missed many gym sessions. Introducing the challenger from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, The Undertaker. And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 234 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Brett. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. To go up against The Undertaker, a superstar needs to realize that they're rolling the dice with their career. The dead man's the most fierce, pure striker our business has ever known, and is just waiting to make another opponent famous. Oh, out of nowhere! Oh, gosh, there's no telling how much damage that did. Well, on the topic of The Undertaker here, tell us your thoughts. Well, I've been in the ring many times with Bret Hart, guys. And I can tell you, there aren't many people, if any, that took their craft as seriously as this guy. This is when all those hours in the gym finally pay off. A chance to become champion. A chance to forever have your name in the record books. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Show off time. Don't waste time gloating here. He hits the brain buster. Good night. King, you're absolutely right. Bret Hart has an undeniable sense of pride, and a lot of that pride and hard work is why he's widely regarded as one of the best pure technical wrestlers of all time. The bottom line is what you see is what you get with Bret Hart. There's no crazy gimmicks. He is what he says he is. The excellence of execution. Here's the cover. No love lost between these two. Back where it belongs, inside the ring. There it is. Well done. Makes the cover. A singles title doesn't gain you instant entry into the Hall of Fame, but it sure gets you a whole heck of a lot closer. In all my years, King, I don't think I've ever seen a superstar systematically dismantle his opponents the way Bret Hart does. Yeah, he's unbelievable, Cole. I can tell you from experience. You know, the whole excellence of execution thing isn't just some catchy nickname. It's the truth with the hitman. Not today. Too fast. Four. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. The single leg Boston Crab. Oh, man, a hole named after the Bean Town. 
The worst place in the world to be is on The Undertaker's bad side. Another Bret Hart characteristic that I don't think any super... Quick pin! Hey, is this it? Uh, it may be. I don't think there's an area on that back that's not suffering right now. Yeah, when he wakes up in the morning, the only thing on his body that's not going to hurt is his pajamas. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Going for the big one. There it is, the old school. I love anything old school, Cole. I love this. Look at to catch him off guard. Quick ref count. Well, you talked a little bit about Bret Hart's pride earlier. But you know what else is amazing? Is the level of pride his fans have. Everywhere I go, there's a kid wearing Hitman sunglasses or one of his T-shirts. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. The championship hangs in the balance. <laughs> and it could fall at any moment. This is a great matchup, Cole. Who's going to win this championship? And Bret Hart makes him pay for all that. Oh, if you're not careful in there with The Undertaker, he'll tombstone you straight to hell. And I mean that almost literally. Two. Three. Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. Four. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. To take a chance like that. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? Two. Three. Can you imagine the celebration that will take place probably into the wee hours of the morning? If we crown a new champion here tonight, of course the tombstone is Undertaker's signature move since day one when he stepped into WWE at Survivor Series in 1990. Oh, poor Coco beware. He didn't even see it coming. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Eight. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. What a display of unmitigated strength. The ring match in pain. The shoulders are down. It all comes down to this. One-on-one -on -one for the championship. This is where legacies are born and drink. Great counter. Since anointing himself the Lord of Darkness, The Undertaker's offense has morphed slightly. I mean, most notably, he's definitely not afraid to bend the rules if needed. The Undertaker with the cover. Thus far, this has been a phenomenal championship contest. Who will win? Who's going home with the title? Man, from the way things look right now, Cole, your guess is as good as mine. This has been so even, so back and forth. Who is going to win this thing? What does the Hitman have planned here? King, you mentioned Undertaker's penchant for, well, cheating of late. Yeah. But let's not forget that this is a dangerous man 
with real skills in that ring. Oh, of course, Cole. We're not going to forget that. You're still going to see the snake eyes, the big boot, and the leaping clothesline. There's just going to be plenty of underhandedness mixed in. What a counter that was. Bret Hart with a nice reversal. The WWE Championship dates all the way back to April of 1963 when Hall of Famer Buddy Rogers represented the company as its first ever champion. And now it is show off time. Don't waste time gloating here. Wow, he's still down after that, Cole. If you ask me, Bret Hart's sharpshooter is right up there with Ric Flair, figure four, or even Stone Cold Stunner, and all the other iconic finishers from over the years. A kick to the gut. That'll double you over. I don't know what's going to happen here. He sees it. Undertaker's looking for some massive impact. The Undertaker, what a maneuver. Finisher, this match. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Here we go. Oh. Bret Hart's holding his ground right now. I know the Hitman is famous for his superb cardiovascular conditioning, but you can't prepare for this kind of brutality. If you're pulling for Bret Hart here, you just have to hope the Hitman's stamina can last. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Looking for all the glory here. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. You're right. A championship opportunity doesn't come around all that often. You got to make the best of it. Quick thinking to avoid that. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Nice move. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to... His shoulders are down. What a win! Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. We may be looking at the match of the year. You want to talk about crowd-pleasing? Here's your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Bret Hitman Hart! And there's your winner here in this singles match. That's a big win any day of the week, on any show, in any arena, Michael. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.